Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad that you are here. Today's topic is learn to do this and you are unstoppable. So what is this? Well, I'm gonna share two things. One of them came later when I was doing a little bit of writing, uh, but the first one really, the impetus of this video was from this clip that I saw, gosh, I don't know, sometime earlier this year, maybe even at the end of last year. It was a clip of Conor McGregor, I think it was on TikTok or Instagram, something like that. And basically he was sitting there and he's saying, he's like, you know, what you don't understand is that, you know, I have I visualized this, like I knew all this was gonna happen. He's like, I used to sit in, you know, my girlfriend's like beat up car, you know, with like the hubcap falling off, right? Rip seats, like, you know, the straight beater. And he's like, I used to sit there and tell myself, like, I'm in a Lamborghini right now. I'm in, you know, I'm the world champion. Like, and he would sit there and visualize in the hardest situation before he made any money, before he had any fame or fortune. He sat there and he's like, I would sit there every day. And especially, he said, the juice of it is especially when things were tough, when, you know, he's on his last dime and all this stuff. He's like, that's when I would do this. He's like, I think, and he would say, you know, he says in this video, that's what I think really gets the law of attraction going. Basically this ability to really visualize the ideal circumstances, situation, the life you want to live, especially when things are difficult. And that is what I'm referring to that when you learn to do this specifically, how unstoppable you become. This morning, I, I'm in, you know, I've shared a couple times, I'm in a very challenging transition and things are moving along. They're exactly where they're supposed to be, of course, but it's a very challenging situation uh, from my inner environment to my external environment. I'm just around a lot of heavy energy right now that I am uh, have been able to, I mean, I'm always around a lot of heavy energy, but I've had the space and ability to clear that energy, but now that I'm not in the environment I was in, you know, by the beach, being able to go outdoors, I'm basically in the desert right now. Like, I, it's hard to even go outside. I can't even take my dog for a walk because it's so hot out here, uh, which is unfortunate. But I'm sitting here and I'm like, dang, I can't do what I used to do or what I like to do. Okay, well, what's going on? What's missing right now? And what I've been doing and what my daily practice is, or pretty much daily, is to write. So I'll write about events from yesterday or the past or the future, whatever's coming up. And I really check in with myself every day about what, how am I feeling today? What, what am I blocked with? Because it's basically this simple guys, when you're feeling good, when you feel good and you're in a good mood and you have good positive energy, this is a clear sign that you are in alignment with your higher self and on the path to whatever that brighter future is for you. When you are not in that state of a positive high vibration, something happens, some circumstance in your life has triggered you and you're in a negative emotional state. It's because your beliefs and the meaning, the definitions that you're creating around these circumstances are creating this negative atmosphere. And when you're in that state of discord, unhappiness, anger, resentment, grief, et cetera, et cetera, negative emotional states, that is a clear indicator that you are not aligned with your vision, with your goal, with your higher self, and you're moving farther away. So then the question is, well, when I'm in that state or what do I do? How do I make sure or do my best to make sure that I'm consistently in this positive, high vibrational mentality and state of being of happiness and joy or encouragement or whatever it is you need so that I'm consistently aligning with my highest vision and therefore I'm on that timeline, I'm attracting synchronicities in the events, i.e. or ergo, I'm manifesting that vision I have in my mind. What do I do? It's like that story I just shared with Conor McGregor. When you're in that crappy place and you hate the world and hate everyone and you're like, oh, woe is me, my life sucks, blah, 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 blah. You're just getting farther away from what you actually want. And as a matter of fact, you're just recreating and attracting those same circumstances. That's what the law of attraction is. So if you get triggered and you fixate and remain in that negative state and focus on what happened in the past or what currently is, if it's not what you want, 
and you're focusing on that from the past or what currently is and it's not what you want, you're simply attracting that same stuff in. Because as Tony Robbins says, where focus goes, energy flows. So if you're triggered and it forces you to focus on this negative current circumstance, you're just re creating that same circumstance it may look a little different but that same energy because where you're what's what you're focusing on so you're just attracting more of that in so the real power is when you learn to do this and this being focus on what you want and really connect with your vision and shift that energy from that negative state into a positive state by dis not disregarding but accepting and surrendering to your current circumstances and in accepting and living in your current circumstances, this state of being, you can positively connect with the vision you have for yourself and where you want your life to be, that's when you become unstoppable. It will instantly snap you out of the bad mood you were in. It will instantly take you out of a victim mentality of, oh, woe is me, I'm hopeless, what can I do? This is just the way things are for me. It'll immediately shift you into a state when you can really connect with that vision and feeling what it's like when you're in that that's you creating your new reality. That's you aligning with your higher self. That's you transforming and building character. Building character, building the character, which is you, as to who that character is in your vision, in your life. So when things are rough, the challenge is, and the opportunity is, can I shift myself out of this negative state that I'm currently in? The answer is yes, you can. And it's be, it's by focusing on what you want rather than by focusing on what is. You keep replaying the same circumstances and having those bad days and ruminating on what was in the past from yesterday, a week ago, a year ago, your childhood, whatever, and saying, oh God, my life sucks right now where you're focusing on what it is right now. Whatever you focus on is what you're gonna create more of. So when you're in the negative state, can you connect with the vision that you have and say, I know that I'm in this crappy situation right now, but this is what's building character because I can so clearly see where I'm going and that this challenge in front of me is the way that it is because it's meant to be there to mold me into the man or woman I need to be who is living that vision, who is being that vision. That's what you're doing. So the video, there's two videos that came up. I found one of them at the end and really this is about visualization connecting with your vision and when you're doing that the power that it evokes from within you and so I looked this clip up and I was like man I don't I, I saved it on my phone I like recorded it but I deleted it a wrong time ago I was like it's got to be out there let me find this video so I did find the Conor McGregor video I recommend that you watch it that whole video is great but especially um, at this point I'll give it to you so the the profiles MMA viral but I just typed in on YouTube uh, Conor McGregor uh, Law of Attraction and it's the first one that came up and at the 430 mark is when that clip was taken out of this video the one that I saw so it starts at 430 so MMA viral I'll link it in the video too when I post this video today I'll, I'll link it in the description below so Conor McGregor MMA viral I just typed in Conor McGregor Law of Attraction MMA viral it starts at 430 4 minutes 30 seconds the other one, I'm gonna actually watch this video when I go into the gym right now. So I'm gonna film this video and then go and knock out, whatchamacallit, um, this video when I go in there. And it's from Prince EA. So you can type in Prince EA and the name of his video is Once You Visualize Correctly, The Shift Happens or something like that. So Prince EA, I'll link his video too. Um, so you can go and watch those. And he's basically, rapping about what a lot of these famous people says you may have seen this interview with jim carrey too and it's before he or it's you know earlier in his career and he's like yeah you know i i manifested a 10 million dollar check and i gave myself five years and i would visualize it on the daily so all this to say is guys you may think it's bs and if you do that's a limiting belief and that is one thing that's disconnecting you from what you actually want because you don't believe that it's actually possible but I'm telling you, I said it on a couple days on one of the videos I did last week or whatever. I've been doing so many of them, uh, which, which I guess is a good thing. Because again, this is just who I am now. This is what I do. I know that my path and purpose, my vision, it showed itself to me about 10 years ago. And it's funny, all the stuff that I've been through 
it's like now more than ever I can so clearly see it like I can see it I can feel it materializing now it's weird it's like it's like I'm already there all along this journey for the past 10 years ever since this vision showed up I knew what it was and I believed it at that time but I needed a lot of preparation I feel right now I am prepared enough to this point to where it's gonna start it's not it's gonna start it's, it's going it's going right now and it's to say that I've been practicing this, especially these last three, four months, every day, guys, when I sit down and I write, I write to clear out any negative energy, be at peace with whatever I need to be at peace with, really get in touch with my mental and my emotional, and my physical, what's going on, what do I need to clear, what's blocking me? And then I literally write down, well, where am I going? What's all this for? Why am I doing this? And I write down the same dang thing every freaking time I, sit down because my vision is clear. I know exactly what I want. I know exactly where I'm going to live. I know exactly what it's going to look like. I like, it's so real for me and it's become so powerful and so real that it's like, now there's no, there's no gap there. Like I'm just, that's just me. This is just who I am now. This is, this is it. So visualize, practice this stuff. I don't even know why I write notes anymore because I'm trying to keep the video shorter. But once I get going on these topics, I'm like, dude, this is what needs to come out. I want so badly for everyone to do this because it's happening for me and it will happen for you. It just takes time and practice like everything else. And I'm nowhere near right now, or maybe I am, I don't know where I see in my mind. I might be right around the corner from it. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter because my like on the outside, it'll manifest that way eventually. But on the inside, like I'm already there. So when you do this over and over and you connect with what you want over and over, who is that version of you over and over every day? Who is that? What do I need to do? What do I need to clear? What lessons do I need to learn? What are the skills? What is the knowledge? What are, who are the people I need to connect with? As long as you're connecting with what you want every single day, little by little, you're going to start noticing changes within yourself too. You're gonna start noticing changes in the way you think, behavior. You're gonna notice more things about other people. You're gonna notice yourself about how you're communicating and carrying yourself differently. And the funny thing is, as you do this, you probably won't notice it at first. You'll probably start getting comments from other people in your circles that notice it before you. And pay attention to that, because that means obviously you're on the right track, it's working. So focus on what you want mentally and feel into the vision that you have for yourself. So what happens is if you're in this state of you getting triggered because of your stuff from your past is coming up and it's triggering you in the present or something in your present is coming up and it's triggering you over and over, address that and learn the lesson, clear the energy, figure out what it is you need. Ask yourself, what is it I need to learn from the situation or what is it I need to do to honor how I feel right now and how I'm thinking in order to be at peace with this situation so you can move on. Because if you don't move on, if you ruminate and stay focused on your current circumstances and your current circumstances are not what you want, again, this is the law of attraction. You'll simply recreate the same circumstances. It might look a little different, but you're gonna create the same type of feeling. The situation, the circumstances will just be different. So the lesson is only focus on what you want. And if you're focusing on what you don't want, or there's an argument or like some immediate circumstance that's upsetting you, just switch your focus. It just means that this is just showing you what you don't want. So focus on the opposite. What do you do? What do you want? That is you shifting your energy. That is you shifting your reality. And little by little, over and over doing this, you're gonna become more aligned with that vibration, with that frequency, with that quality of life that you want, that you're creating. This is what manifestation is. This is what law of attraction is. It's just focusing on what you want. And when you experience something of what you don't want, that's exactly what it's there for. We live in a world of contrast. When you experience what you don't want, it's there to help you clarify what you do want. So when you experience something you don't want, again, what's most powerful, and this is when you become unstoppable, you relish in it. You embrace it and say, hell yeah, thank you universe for showing me exactly what I don't want. That's why the situation sucks so bad. Now I'm more clear on ever uh, than ever on exactly what I do want. What I do wanna do for work, the people I do wanna work with, how I wanna feel about money, the relationships I do want, whether it's a romantic partner or my friendships. This woman or this girl every time, God, I've known her forever, she's just so draining. I'm sick of it, good. Get her out of your life. That's showing you exactly what you do want for friends as you go forward. You're sick of being broke, good. Let it hurt, embrace 
love being broke because now you know exactly what you don't want. If you need to learn the lesson again, it's gonna come back around. You might make a little money, you'll go broke again. Learn the lesson, focus on what you do want. This is the whole, this is literally the game of life. We're here to experience what we don't want so it moves us towards what we do want. And by you focusing more on what you do want, you're attracting more of what you want into your life and less of what you don't want. That's what law of attraction is. So focus on what you want rather than what currently is. Contextualize your current struggles and use them to empower yourself. So what's the story or the meaning, the definition that you give the current circumstances you're in? Oh God, I'm in this terrible relationship. It's just another like shallow chick who's just using me for my money. I'm so sick of this. Oh my God. You know, why me? Why me? I'm such a victim. Woe is me. I always attract all these crappy women in my life. Or you could say, okay, I get it, universe. Thank you for bringing another woman like this into my life because I'm sick of having women love this, like this in my life. Now I'm very clear on what I don't want and I'm even more clear on what I do want. I don't want shallow, you know, Instagram girls with all these followers who are so starved for attention. They just like are waiting for the next best thing. I do not want that. I know what I do want. I want a beautiful, humble girl who's chill, is comfortable with who she is, and you know, whatever, X, Y, Z, that's what you want. So every experience that you experience that isn't what you want is showing you what you do want. The question is, what will you direct your attention towards? What is negative and what you don't want? Don't do that, you're gonna bring more of that in your life. Or will you learn the lessons and say, ah, got it, not gonna make these same mistakes not going to continue to focus on this. I'm very clear on what I do want now because I've experienced what I don't want. That's what we're doing here. You could say this is building character. These this difficult situation, me just losing my job, I understand. I've been asking for a job change, but I haven't made the move yet, so the universe is giving me exactly what I asked for. This is building character and molding me into the person that I get to be who lives the life that I'm currently building. How do you speak to yourself? How do you contextualize these things? What is the meaning you give these events in your life? This is the process. This is the purpose of your challenges to clarify what you don't want so you can get clear on what you do want. And again, the title of the video, learning to be unstoppable once you do this. Doing this, what I'm referring to, is being able to take the negative circumstances, the negative states of being, the negative thought forms, and give them a different meaning and use them to empower you by showing you what you don't want so you can get clear on what you do want. Focus on what you want. Focus on what you want. Don't spend any time, energy, effort, or anything focusing on what you don't want. There's no point. You may Again, you may need to reflect and learn the lessons because if you don't learn the lessons, they'll also come back up. But if you just ruminate there without learning the lessons, you're just in a victim mentality and a very unempowered energy and you're not gonna bring anything into your life that you want. You're gonna feel stuck. That's where depression starts to happen. You start to ruminate in these negative cycles and go, oh, what do I do? I'm hopeless. Well, well, think about what it is you don't like about what's going on and then just start thinking about, well, what's the complete opposite of this? And start only focusing on that. At first, especially if you're just waking up or you haven't been doing this, you're gonna feel so far away and disconnected from that, it's gonna be challenging. You're gonna think it's all BS. Your ego's gonna have a field day. This is so stupid. This guy's an idiot. This crap's all blah, 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 blah. It doesn't work. Blah, blah, blah. And you're going to diarrhea all over yourself about negative crap because your ego's going to get flared up. But with practice and over time, you will start to have this be easier. And the turning point for you will be when you start to have, you start to notice in your physical reality, your everyday life to where something happens that's gonna be so crystal clear as a confirmation that, oh my God, this is exactly what I've been doing. Okay, maybe it isn't BS. Something's gonna happen in your life and you're gonna wake up and go, oh my God, that's crazy. Like this is a clear example that this is like a little nod from the universe that this stuff I've been doing is working. When you get that confirmation and you're like, oh my God, it actually is working. It's just gonna fuel the fire. And now instead of creating momentum negatively away from what you want by focusing on the negative circumstances, you're gonna get this confirmation, go, oh my God, it's working. And you're gonna keep going and you're gonna go even harder and you're gonna get better at it. Things are gonna get even more crystal clear. You're gonna start noticing these changes within yourself. It's an amazing place to be. This is where we're heading, guys. And this 
It's not a, a once in a while thing. Don't do it every quarter. Don't do it every month. Don't do it every week. Try to do this every day. This is what I do every day. Meditate, visualize. I write to clear out any blocks. Man, yesterday, God, last night, hard night at work. God, these, you know, I was so upset by blah, 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 blah. I just verbal diarrhea. I get it all out of my system. I go, okay, great. What are the lessons that I need to learn from those situations that I didn't like? And what does all that lead to? What is it I want? That's what I always finish on. What is it I want? Well, what's all this leading me to? What am I here for? Why am I going through this? What is this current situation in my life teaching me? It's a stepping stone towards what I want. You're the writer, the producer, and the actor of your own story called Your Life. You're writing the play here. You're writing the movie script. You're producing it, and you're the actor. You're all of them. So what story are you writing, and how are you acting? What are you producing? You're the creator of your life. You're doing all this stuff. So if you have situations in your life you don't like, you're the creator, actor, and producer of that. So just rewrite the script. It's the hero's journey, man. Uh, this guy I met at the uh, dog park back home. Um, I remember we were talking about it, and he is like in great shape and doing all this stuff. And he had, he was like playing softball and like popped his knee, had to get surgery and stuff. And he's like, no, nah, you know, it's just, and he had a good attitude about it. We were talking about it, and he's like, oh, it's just like you know, it's the hero's journey, man. And he brought something up to me that made a lot of sense. He said, you know, imagine watching a movie and this guy or this girl is just crushing it. There's no ups and downs right from the onset you know, first scene of the movie, she's getting a promotion, then she meets the love of her life, and then they're just traveling around, and she's just going up and up and up, there's no adversity, nothing at all, you would get bored of that movie, the reason we like movies, the reason we like the stories, the archetype for all stories is the hero's journey, it's to go through the struggles, to go through the dark times, to have that moment of redemption, to have the climax, the turning point in the story, and the happy resolution, it's the same thing for the story of your life, all the crappy stuff in your life, that's what makes it interesting. That's why it's a book that people want to read. People are just crushing all the time. It's kind of boring. So recontextualize, give a different meaning to the struggles you're going through. Use them to empower you and connect with the vision that you want for your life at the end. Two quotes. Visualize this thing that you want. See it, feel it, believe in it. Make your mental blueprint and begin to build. Robert Collier. The second one is, uh, I love Brian. Well, Brian Tracy's great. I love, I love Brian Tracy, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, some of these older motivational speaker guys are great. Anyways, all successful men and women are big dreamers. They imagine what their future could be, ideal in every respect, and then they work every day toward their distant vision, that goal or purpose. That's what we're doing here, guys. It seems like it's all BS right now. Well, it may or may not. It just depends on where you are in your journey and your state of consciousness. You are awakened and you're in a light worker. And regardless of where you are in your healing journey and where you're at manifesting your vision, when you get to this point where you're like, oh man, I've healed enough. There's more healing to do always, but I've healed enough from my past to where I feel completely free and sovereign and worthy of what I want and you start manifesting that vision, and you start visualizing every day, and you connect with it, it gets more and more powerful. There's such a powerful momentum happening behind the scenes. You know that. The universal energy is greater than we can ever imagine. It's working for us at all times. So recontextualize and give a different meaning to your current circumstances. Use them to empower you. Only focus on what you want. You're getting closer every day, guys. We both are. So that's what I got for you today. Love you so much and I'll see you soon. Peace.